Kaczewski. I had a feeling there was gonna be a hint coin there. And there's one here too. Ha <laughs> ha! Again, it's not that difficult. Just aim for light and you'll at least find one. Also, this is not a 100% let's play. I'm not gonna look for every single hint coin or something like that. Or I'll solve every single puzzle. It's also not gonna be a 100% picker at one because, yeah, I am. Um, I already messed up on that, didn't I? Oh boy, so many puzzles! Excuse me, Mr. Fisher, you haven't seen the suspicious-looking chap passing by this way, have you? We're looking for him. He's a suspicious-looking chap. Fish, you mean? Hmm, well, I feel like I might have done it, yes, or did I? In this puzzle my old man sent me one, see? I feel like I can't concentrate on anything else lately. Or can I? I'm afraid you're rather lost. Guys, yeah, no good. If I can't get this puzzle out of my mind, I'll never be able to think about anything else ever again. Ever. <laughs> Great crowding. You need to get through the storeroom, but there are countless crates of different shapes and sizes blocking the, blocking your way. Select the crate and hold down it to move it up, down, left, right. Clear a path through the storeroom from the entrance to the top left to the exit at the bottom right. Okay, let's try this out. Ah, okay, so it's like that. Uh -huh. Because here's the thing, I need to get this one here out of the way, that much is obvious. Can I rotate them? No, I cannot. So let's do like... Oh. Okay, let's try with this one here. Move this one right. Move this one right. Get you here. Get you here and uh, get you here and get you here. Okay, that is kind of where. So maybe this way? And then we put you here. Oh, sorry, we put you here, sorry thinking then we put you here you here ah we got it and you here this puzzle's got some might i ain't nothing but the hound dog you did it you gotta you, you're good at moving those crates brilliant now I know the answer to that puzzle. I feel like I can think clear again at last. At last. Now what were you saying? We um, we're wondering if you see a suspicious looking chap around here not long ago wearing glasses. Ah yes, I remember. You seen him? Do you think he could look fishy as well? Well, I can't tell really say if he was fishy or not. That's not, that's not my thing. But I did see a fellow wearing glasses. He was weaving about like a lost soul. Seemed to be heading from the war wave, wharf, I think. The wharf. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Fisher. If you hurry, you might catch, catch up to him with him, miss. Oh, that was the right one to go for. Nice. Oh. Nice. What do you have to say, Mr. Lassen? Oh, he also has a puzzle for me, Jesus. Ah, detective! 
Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on relax. I'm going out, but there is a problem. A problem? Would it help to tell us about it? No, yes. Problem is puzzle. This one. Ride the rails. Oh, this one is like, it's a little difficult. There are four rails running parallel to each other, and each has four stations. Okay. It costs two pounds to travel through unlimited stations of one rail railway line. It costs one pound per station to travel on a bus that links vertically adjacent stations on different railway lines. What's the cheapest possible route from the station? To the bottom left, taking in all, all three rest stations along the way. There is no other possible mode of transport. Okay. A lot of boring math later. I want to say it's seven pounds. Oh, hey, Bigodge. I'm better at math, let's see. Mm, this should do it, I think. Any mystery or any oh. puzzle solved. I got it. My math was right. And so was my logic. Yeah, that's pretty much what I had thought so. You did it. If you pass through the three big stations in the shortest route possible, the fare will be cheap, the cheapest. There is no need to stop at the second rat station, so you can just pass through without paying an extra. Pretty much, yeah. I was slightly confused, but I still got it. How's that, Hans? Does it solve your problem? No, yes. So this is answer. Mm, thank you. Well, now we know where to go. Phew. This sort of scam is all around the houses. I wish I had sweat glands. <laughs> Don't worry, Cheryl. I think it's nearly over. Today's pavement pounding, that is. Pavement pound? Don't say that. You know I got edgy when you're... We're near Battersea. Hey, <laughs> I think you've cornered our man at last. He's not going to get away this time. No, he's not. First, hint coins. Nice. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another one, nice. And that's the last one. When I saw the cat, yeah, there was gonna be a puzzle, might as well do it. Meow, meow. Oh, look, this little cat has picked up a puzzle from somewhere. I think it wants you to solve it, miss. Changing numbers. Okay. The numbers on the digital display board are lined up in order with the largest at the top. Which numbers go to the concealed spaces in the middle? Oh god, there was a light peak here. I had a heart attack I thinking that, oh god, it, it, I thought it was going to be like the Mario Let's Play where there was a black hat I had to cut a part short. Jesus Christ, don't do this to me, game. Or better yet, don't do this to me, lights. Two hours later. This is a digital clock, right? So maybe in... The Oh no. Zero. Zero. No, oh, sorry, I keep doing that. And six. Let's see. This should do it, I think. Puzzles are made for solving. Nice. You did it. The answer was zero zero six. Or in this case. Nine. The board is split at the real time in one minute intervals. Turn the board upside down makes it makes it make sense. Yeah, because I again I tilted my head and I saw wait. 901? 859? 
So then the one in the middle should be nine, but because it's upside down, probably six. There you go, all sold for you. Meow? Meow! It looks like I have another satisfied customer here, miss. Helping dogs, cats, birds. Your vertical daughter do little of puzzles. Has she helped birds? I only remember cats and dogs. And an iguana. Haha, here you are. Not you again. Who are you anyway? We just like to ask you a few questions, that's all. Why? I don't even know you. Look, I'm busy, right? Get out of my way. Got it, you pause, do you? Sorry, I'm afraid we must insist. Huh? Stop blocking my way. We simply want to ask you some questions, that's all. Why are you so desperate to get away? Because you're a bank robber, perhaps? That's it, Pinstripes. Lay it on him now, make him score. Bank robber? What are you talking about? That's crazy. The only thing I know about bank robbery is this. Light security. I honestly don't think you're helping yourself with this, with this but okay. There's a... Oh, I hit the mic. There is a mysterious thief after the treasure. Keep the jewel safe by activating the security systems. Surround the, the two jewels with the light up panels to protect them. Selecting a panel makes it light up red. Then, when the system is activated, the adjacent, adjacent panel in the direction of that arrow lights up. And this continues until there are no more panels in the sequence. Which panel needs to be lit, lit up first? What? Oh, okay, 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 I get it. A few inches later. Ah, wait, I think I figured it out. It's this one. Yeah, look. If I follow the rule of the arrows, it stops on this one, and the and both of them are surrounded by light. Yes. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. Not that difficult, really. You get, you did it. The security system has been successfully activated. Now the thief can get any get anywhere near. There's no way someone like me could rob a bank, is there? I mean, think about it. You don't fit a typical pattern, I admit. Bank robbers don't tend to linger about on the streets. That's what I've been telling you the whole time. In that case, what were you doing on Southern Bank before? You were looking for something, weren't you? No. You cheeky little mongrel. Ah, get, get your dog under control, he keeps growling at me. Yes, and if you don't start telling us the truth, he's going to, to sink his teeth into your behind. First the left cheek, then the right. Ah, who's been cheeky? That is not in my contract. In my contract. Ah, all right, all right. I'll tell the truth. I, I was picking up money outside the bank. Money? Yeah. I don't know why, but I keep finding 50, 50s lying around the street. So then I started looking around for more. I found some in the river too, and on the bridge. I wasn't really looking where I was going most of the time. I was just following the notes. You mean you haven't delivered been running away from us? I didn't even know you were chasing me. Oh, it sounds rather like we've been pursuing the wrong man. Actually, you haven't. Mm, yeah, I think it's telling the truth. That was a dead lead. But why is it funny all this bank banknotes around the place? Yes, that's curious. And the worst thing is, what? He's getting it. He gave it to them before I am. Those all should have been mine. <laughs> Can't behave yourself. Sorry, sure, only joking. I know my behind hidden. I don't bite behind. I don't bite anything apart from my tongue most of the time. <laughs> so bank notes lying around the street by the layman's reserve banks on the bridge and along the river. Hmm? Yeah, I think I figured out what's going on. Oh, I just realized it's supposed to be a uh, money sack with a bind on it. Okay, so that's what's supposed to be. Again, the Kiss Complete song reminds me so much of Yokai Watch. And again, it makes sense, they were both made by level 5, so this is to be expected. 
That's it! No question! This mystery is history! You saw it, miss? Ooh, splendid! In that case, we should get back to the bank, shouldn't we? Gather all the relevant parties. Yes, there is just something that I need to get to take care of for, first, aren't it? Oops, sorry. Sorry. Yes, there is just something that I need to take care of first. Ernest, could you get in touch with everyone that left the and let them know the situation? Of course, leave it to me. Cat, are you sure you've crack cracked it? You haven't got the wrong end of the stick or anything. No pressure or anything, but you know, 100, mi 100 million quid. Relax, sure. My deduction is as safe as houses. I just hope it's safer than the bank safe was. Did I get the right message, Cat? Have you really cracked it? Where's the 100 million then? Patient, Inspector. Let's switch from Miss Teller and to arrive, shall we? You can fill in later. Mr. Slow Ains is here. I'm sure you can't wait to find out the truth either, can you, sir? I think we should wait for Bianca, like the last says. You do? Alright, well, if that's how you feel then. I'm sure she won't be long anyway. Horace has already gone to fetch her. Ah, here she is, you see. Apparently, you think you found the missing money. Good. Now everyone here, let's get to the go to the vault and talk about what happened. Hearing that 100 million pounds had disappeared, we all naturally assumed that someone had stolen it or hidden it somewhere. Now there's voice acting because of course there is. But in fact, it literally did disappear. I get it. Yes. It's all about perspective, eh? It disappeared because it was never there in the first place. I don't think that's it, Cheryl, but I think you're getting it. Oh, it was there. But the question is, where is it now? And the answer is gone with the wind. You've got to stop watching that film, Cat. Why? It's a surprisingly good film. All those crisp notes carried away on the breeze to become the property of the vast sky, where greed and wealth mean nothing. Very poetic, but there's still a fact that, you know, a hundred million is up in the air then, literally. Have I mentioned this nice little place I know, where people look after you in crisp coats? Crisp white coats. <laughs> a loony bin, I get it. The money is gone. It's the property of the heavens now, isn't that right? Oh, hell! Jesus Christ, woman, you look like a smack! Did you, sorry, that you use uh, 50 packs of cigarettes every day? Jesus Christ! You can't be serious! Yes, Miss Lighton. You're right. Well done. Kill me now, or tell me it's the 1st of April. <laughs> Cat, come on. Explain before my head explodes. A vault for such large sums of money naturally calls for extremely thick, impenetrable walls. As a result, the interior is a hermetically sealed environment. A completely airtight box. No one could steal anything from such a place, surely. Yeah, exactly. And that would include the room. Sealed environments need aircon to stop their content spoiling. And that's the key to this case. Sadly, the brand new air conditioning unit in the vault malfunctioned on the night in question, leaving a near vacuum inside. Early this morning, the poor, unsuspecting branch manager came in to check on the vault, opening the door and breaking the seal. <laughs> The sudden rush of external air caused all the notes to be sucked into the ventilation system and ejected out into the night sky over London. I'll be blown. If that's really happened, Jesus Christ, what the actual hell? And of course, while a theft would have entitled the bank to an insurance payout, an accident like this is the bank's responsibility. So who's actually to blame, then? If I had to identify a culprit in this case, 
It would be the person from the bank who resolved to dress up the truth as grand larceny. The Layman's Reserve Bank's general manager. You, Ms. Teller. Oh, I've given my all to this bank over the years. It's over now, I suppose. I can't possibly hope to keep my job after this. Can't you? Sorry. I don't want you to quit, Bianca. Mr. Sloans. But I... Oh, okay, so his name is Mr. Sloans. Like, he lands alone. Okay, I get it. Miss Layton explained everything to me earlier, so I got the boffins on the job. By analysing the wind direction, we worked out a plan and sent out the cleaners to fetch the money back. We got about 80% of it. Damage control, you could say. Yeah, that is like a pretty decent... Uh, something decent to do. You're not expecting to get most of it. You're not gonna get all of it, but you can get most of it back. Also, hi, Nix, you're back. Really? Oh, thank goodness. Mind you, it's not, as if, it's not as if it wasn't like a bad idea what she did. Cause yeah, Nix don't. Cause there again, there was a possibility that it was like a storm, but from the look of it, it wasn't. So to make up sure to, that the bank could still function, technically function, the best it could do was well say it was robbery. That's not to say the remaining 20% isn't going to sting. Not 20 million pounds, that's quite a loss. It's true. Still better than a hundred million pounds, huh? Of course. But in some ways, 20 million is a small price to pay. Sorry? That new vault, the Hermit 5000, is a product of one of my affiliate companies. If we hadn't identified this malfunction before we'd sold it to countless other banks, we could have been in for damages far exceeding 20 million. Also true. That was a very big oversight that they probably didn't expect to happen. Because again, they don't expect the air contract to malfunction, especially in a new unit. But if it does malfunction, they need to be extremely careful that this could like happen. So, I've arranged it that my vault manufacturing firm will compensate the loss. So, he's pretty much taking money from one side of his pocket and putting it on the other side. <laughs> the bank can continue to operate as normal. Oh, Mr. Sloan. <laughs> Thank you so much. <coughs> Cyril's woman stop smoking cigarettes. Oh, I hope you'll continue to do the sterling work you've done up to now for the bank. <gasps> Definitely. I must say that it was truly an inspiring piece of detective work. Hear that, cat? Pinstripe is a big fan. Like the surprise cause of the whole, like the surprising case of the cause of the whole case. I don't know how you worked it out, Cat. No one else could ever have arrived at such an obscure truth. I'm quite sure. You are a sensation, Miss. <laughs> Thank you, Ernest. Oh, that reminds me. You received these flowers earlier. I'll put them in a vase later. Oh, they're beautiful. Who sent them? Mr. Sloane's, Miss. Those loans. He said he wanted to thank you again for your help supporting everything else. Sorting everything out. He's a little overbearing to look at. He's a little bit overbearing to look at, but he's a very kind man, actually. Yeah. I can't believe he didn't give you the general matter of his the boot. Mind you, it's not exactly her fault. Yes, she technically did not completely comply with authorities and all, all that. But it's not as if she was the one who did it. And even then, her actions were making them some good for the bank. Kind of. I think perhaps she's misunderstood because of his appearance. I have to tell him if he would... It would be nice to meet... inform him sometime and chat about something other than business. You're a bigger person than me, cat. Apparently, Mr. Shinplaster, the branch manager, had to be conscious again now. 
and his axe around the man too. A lucky guy missed the whole thing. It's amazing to think that 20 million pounds is still missing though, isn't it? I wonder where it'll end up. Not in my pocket, sadly. Not even one note. I know, it's like a dream, isn't it? Money just running from the sky. Yes, that would be amazing. Wait. The money put in your desk drawer. Wait, stop, Nix, don't. Don't lay there. The money you put in your desk drawer before. Miss Layton, don't tell me you. Of course not, Ernest. That was payment for solving the case. Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply. <laughs> Pen stripes. And now he made it all of pure gold, Jesus Christ. After the incident, the bank had a brand new vault installed the Hermit Mega Safe. Now the Layman's Reserve Bank has the very safest of safes and the most balanced of banners. Who could fail to trust them with their hard-earned cash? Yeah, let's save. Yeah, I'm also realizing I can do multiple save files, so I'll do that in case, uh, in case the file corrupts. How's so, I'll do that now?